Here, I'll introduce you the Magica T230C DVB-T2 live TV stick. Here is the box. Okay, open up. This is the device. This is the accessory box. Inside, you can see a USB extension cable, a remote control, and a TV antenna. Inside the box, there's still a CD for the driver and software, and a quick installation guide. After you have plugged in the TV tuner to the PC, you can go to our Magica website to download the driver and software. First, you go to the support, and then you can scroll down to the TV tuner for PC, and then find your corresponding model. You can download menu, driver, software, and if your model comes with a remote control, you can also download the remote control driver here. Okay. After you've downloaded the driver, just open it up and then click on the setup. Okay. The setup wizard comes out and you just click next and then install. And then it will prompt you to have a permission, say yes. And then you say install it, and it's finished. In order to use the 230C, you first take off the cover. This is for the antenna. You can use the antenna that comes with it, or if you have a rooftop antenna, you can also use it as a signal. Here, you can plug in the USB to the PC USB. After you have downloaded the total media, extract it to your PC. And then you can open it up and find the setup. Double click on setup, you can start install the software. First, you can select the language, then you can follow the setup wizard to install the program. Click next, this is the license agreement. Yes, and then you can type in your username, and you can find the license key from your from the product. Okay, now you can select where you want to install the total media to. You can select different places from your hard drive. After you select it, click next. And then we can go next again, unless you want a specific uh, folder for where this program files go. And then we can wait it for installation. Installation is complete. You click finish to finish it up. Once it's installed, you will see the total meter icon is on your desktop now. So open up the total media, double click on the icon. First, we go to TV. Since this is the first time you use, it will prompt us to do a T 
TV signal stand. Here, you can select the country you are in. You can also use the keyboard to quickly access to the place where you want. So after you select your country, you go next. Here, you can just click start to start the scanner chain. Uh, this will take a while, depends on where your countries are and how many channels are available. It will display all the channels it found on the list. And if you think you have uh, got all the channels available around your area, you can just stop it or you can just let it run to the end. next to finish so this is the channel we got here you can see a full screen here if you click on it it will give you a full screen to exit full screen just double click come back EPG will show you the EPG available channels uh, all the channels of uh, list here and then you can also add it to favorite channels or delete from favorite channels. And you can select to show all or show the favorites. Record TV and schedule is the same. You can see a red dot here on the, on the bottom. That's the record button for you to record the TV. After you click on it, you'll notice there's a record mark on the top right corner. It shows that it's recording these channels now. Okay, stop it. And then the recorded videos are stored inside the recorded TV. You can also do a schedule recording by adding a new one. You can first select which channels you want to record and then you can select if it want to record once daily weekly and you can set up the start update time and stopping time and if you want to shut down the computer when recording is finished after you have set up everything just save it and it will be in, in the list you can Modify it if you want to modify it. Oh, it will show when you want to start. Uh, I'll stop it for now. So it's disappeared. If I say yes, it will just go to recording. Teletext is uh, if the channel you have has the teletext signals in the stream, that will show the text. And uh, at the end is settings. Uh, you can do some settings about uh, like at the channels, TV settings or import or export channel list that you previously had. You can also change the volume from the screen down there or here or by switching channels or clicking the channel. You see a little capture frame here, you can also capture single pictures from the TV. So the picture here it will show the pictures that you have captured by the capture button. You can play that slideshow or even burn the CD if you have a CD burner. Video contains all the videos that we have recorded to go you can transfer your videos to a portable devices if you connect it to PC you can just manually sync it so they will transfer the video 
setup is the same, you just do the setup for the total media. You can also view more details for the options uh, by downloading the user manual from our website. Thank you.